presenting the awards tonight, Michael Monks. Michael Monks had a very unfortunate career. He only won Division I men's foil eight times. Isn't that terrible? And then he made five Olympic teams, but he got bored with a foil. He made four Olympic teams in foil, and then he made the Olympic team in Epay. I think that's enough to say. Oh, one thing, and he opened a new club, Marks Men's Academy in Concord, Mass. Michael Marks. Eighth place left, got bored. Seventh place, Evan Urodowski. Evan is from Mountain View, and he's with the Silicon Valley Fencing. He's coached by Maxim Petrov, Alexei Marugin, and Yulia Marugin. He's fencing three and a half years. He took third place at the Rain City SYC, fifth place at the Rocky Mountain SYC, and sixth at the Arizona SYC, Evan Urodovsky. In sixth place, Alejandro Toro. Alejandro is from Ambler, Pennsylvania. He's with the Zelkovich Fencing Club, and he's coached by Mickey Zelkovich. He's fencing for four years. He took second place at the Y14 St. Louis SYC. He also took second place at the Y12 St. Louis SYC, and seventh at the Y14 Denver SYC, Alejandro Toro. In fifth place, Brandon Lee. All right, Brandon! Brandon's from Acton, Massachusetts. He's with the Marks Fencing Academy. And he's coached by Michael Marks, Shuai Ming, and Kai Zhao. He's fencing for four years. He took first at the Y10 March NAC 2014, second at Summer Nationals last year in the Y10, and today, Brandon Lee. And a tie for third place, Philip Doherty. Hey, Philip! Philip is from Lexington, Kentucky. He's with the Bluegrass Fencers Club, and he's coached by Andre Kosbach. He's fencing five years. He took the gold medal at the Y10 Summer Nationals way back in 2013. First place at the Y12 SYC in Atlanta. And top eight today, Philip Doherty. Also tied the third, Jacob Shostad. Yeah. Jacob is from Furlong, Pennsylvania. He's with the Bucks County Academy of Fencing, coached by Mark Holbrow. He's fencing three years. He took eighth place at the Spring Nat Y-12 men's foil, eighth at Windy City Y-14 men's foil, and third at the Texas Roundup SYC Y-12 men's foil, Jacob Shostad. Let's get that hair nice. <laughs> that is so cute. And on second place, Brian Lee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brian is from Acton, Massachusetts. He's with the Marks Fencing Academy. He's coached by Michael Marks and Kai Schwab. He's fencing four years. And he's the number one ranked Y12 fencer. Third in Y12 of Milwaukee Mac. And first at the Cobra SYC, Brian Lee. Oh, and today's champion with curly hair, it's not perfect, Draper D. Dayton. <laughs> Draper's from Petaluma, California. He's with the Massiellos Foundation, the M Team. He is coached by Greg Massiellos and Karen Martos. He's fencing six years. He took the gold medal at the Y-12 Men's Foil Denver SYC last year. Silver medal at the Y-14 Men's Foil Chicago SYC this year, and he earned points at the 2015 Junior Olympics Top 64 Cadet Men's Foil, Draper D. Dayton. Yay! And we have a coach's medal. I guess uh, Draper has to decide. That's next. You don't think I forgot. Would you like to be the coach? I think Greg wants to be your coach. Greg Messielis. <laughs> and we also have a trophy for the fencer to take home with him. It's donated by Absolute Fencing. Gary Liu and his mother, Amanda Liu, have generously donated this trophy. 
And as a thank you, we're all going to spend more money at their company. Also, t-shirts have been donated by Leon Paul, Leon Paul USA, and a very famous company in England, and FentyPhotos.com. Check them out, find photos of this event. Thank you so much. See you next year.